Hey, Sneaky Links back tonight for a different one. This one's from Russia, based on Puppy Links 4, and it's called a Puppy Russ Links 2 Snow Dog. Now, as you can see, all Russian. Mm. My, my Russian is very limited, but I can get my way around, so that's not too bad. But it's a lot of English in there as well. Now, basically, it's a rework of Puppy 4 for the Russian market, which ain't no bad thing, really. It's quite a big community, as I looked a bit earlier. It's quite a big puppy community out there. So, yeah, got the usual here. Look, there's the firewall settings. If I click on there, we can do our firewall. Now, do an automatic default or custom. As it's the older puppy, it comes up with three options, not just two. So, if we just click OK, do automatic, it will just go along and do it for us. So, just wait a little bit, wait a little bit, wait a little bit, and it's done. Enter, and we're out. So, you can get around it without having to learn a Russian. Although, I wouldn't mind learning a little bit of Russian, apart from vodka and stuff like that, you know what I mean? So, anyway got the usual there in the settings so we'll get rid of that and go and do something a bit more interesting so connection you have to set your connection manually it has to be done manually now this is the puppy get stuff and puppy install and pet stuff now i got confused here so i thought i'll click here now this is the one if you've got a puppy already on the hard drive and you can install it from there so i didn't want to do that one do i so i'll click on another one and we go down here and we click here and this one in theory should be the one i want so, best I check up on my rushes if I want to keep on this one, don't I really? But as you can see, nothing happened. Now, we did have this a long time ago in PUP on this particular version, and obviously it's not been sorted on their distribution. So maybe if you're looking at it and you're from Russia, maybe you can check it out, no worries. So anyway, we'll go to the pets introduction stuff, or the puppy package manager, it's now called. And as you can see, everything is all there, including every word. Older ones, of course, not all the newer stuff, but you can get the newer ones from the repos and also from the web. If you're into puppy, you know where to get them from. If you don't, let me know, and I'll give the URL to go and have a look for them. There won't be no two bad things, it really. So that can go. What can I show you next? We'll get rid of that. Excuse me for my cold. It's still cold here, snowing and ice everywhere. Your browser of choice this time round is Opera. Now, Opera was a big thing at that time as well. Actually, I don't actually mind Opera, and it's a, it's, I'll be really honest, it's a very European browser. Uh, you'll find it more used in Europe than elsewhere, as far as I'm aware, but maybe I'm a liar. This is the Puppy Rust Linux Forum, and they seem to have plenty of people here and plenty of people doing stuff, so it's quite active. So if you're from that neck of the woods, go and check it out, if you know what I mean. So yeah, this is only a short video, by the way. I just thought I'd keep it short, just so there's stuff going on. Now, for your chat, it is Pigeon, of course. Well, of course, it's going to be Pigeon, because that's what was in the pub at the time. But remember, there are others you can download and install, etc., etc., if you really want to. So, it's not much new here I'm showing you, but I'm just showing you, basically, that other parts of the world are getting older puppy and developing it for their own region of the world. Russia's a really, really, really a big country. So, you've got to look out of the box here. So... They're actually having a good go, and I do I praise them for that. And as for the football, don't worry about it, chaps. I'm not really worried about the football. It's just football in the day, isn't it? Anyway, usual puppy menu, usual puppy stuff. There's not a lot in there unless you want to install it yourself. There's no stuff that you would normally find. They've actually stripped it out a bit, so it seems. But you've got all the usual, so you can install every word. You can install open office from FSFs if you really want to and stuff like that. Hitch hates top for you, look. It's the usual usage, really. It's using no RAM. And no CPU as such, really. There's one up there that is using something. No, look, GXE, oh, the usual GXE thing on this particular pup. It just wouldn't go away. I'll show you in a second. Oh, if I can remember what that is. I don't know if I yeah, there we go. Look. It, it always happens. It won't go away unless you actually kill the process. So it's a bit of a bugger. This is from the live CD, by the way. That's the reason why. So you click on the X, nothing happens. So you have to go down, nothing happens. And just opens in the workspace, etc, etc. Now, on the whole... If you like Puppy Linux, you're from Russia, give it a good go, because it's in your language. Sneaky Linux out.